Well, here goes one I bet you don't see every day, a uh, Pride KW1 linear amplifier. A lot of people don't know uh, what really a Pride KW1 is. All it is is a high drive version of the DX300. It doesn't have any more output. doesn't have two tubes. It's the same uh, configuration as the DX300 except uh, it's high drive instead of low drive. It had a built-in uh, board with a lot of resistors that they use for a dummy load uh, to back down the input and it also has a uh, not only the RF power meter but it has a plate current meter there and a switch for power output and plate current and also no receive preamp because uh, hams don't basically use uh, receive preamps and linear amplifiers. Other than that, originally uh, it's the same as a Pride uh, DX300, but this one has been Frankensteined a little bit. Uh, it's got all the Nomad uh, boards in it. It's got the Nomad high voltage board, and it's got the Nomad low voltage board, and it's 10 meters only. The band switch and the uh, circuitry for 10 through 80 meters has been removed and this amplifier is working on uh, 10 meters only and what's in place of the band switch is the bias control uh, which puts the negative bias on the tube which is variable with the Nomad board and basically you can vary the dead key uh, pretty far with that you can make it swing or you can make a heavy dead key with the uh, Vario bias or the band control on this amplifier now uh, this one has a uh, brand new plate transformer in it it's original nothing heavy duty um, the original transformer is pretty good and it's got a new original transformer uh, it has been modified instead of the uh, 4CX 250B tube which is a uh, quite a bit smaller and I'll show you a uh, 250 here. This is a 250R. Yeah, you can't really see the size from there. There you go. That's a little bit better. That's about the size difference between the uh, 250R and the uh, 400 in there. So this has the uh, 4CX400 tube in it. Been modified. And... Um, it has, uh, you see the coil here, the red one and the silver one there, it has a Pi L output circuitry, so it has uh, cleaner harmonics than the original Pride. And it has a heavy duty uh, load uh, variable capacitor there instead of the receiving type, which normally comes on there. This is uh, got the transformer wider spacing and heavier duty uh, capacitor there. And this one does have the uh, Pry DX300 input board instead of the KW1. So this one has been modified for low drive. And also on that board it has its own built-in uh, RF sensing for the keying circuit. So this one will key itself up or work on a foot switch if you want. Whereas the uh, uh, Pry KW1 factory you need to hook it to a foot switch. It doesn't have the uh, self keying circuit. Um, but it doesn't have the preamp. So that's the Frankenstein Pride KW1. Right now we're on the low side. Going into a dummy load on 10 meters. And we're going to show you what the radio does. Just a barefoot radio. Uh, dummy load, 20 watt scale. Key in at four watts. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. What about 14 peak? Let's put it on average. Same four watt dead key. Audio. Audio. Talking about five or six and swinging. About eight on a whistle. That's all we're putting into it. So. Obviously, if you drove it a little bit harder, it'd do a little bit more, but uh, we don't like to overdrive our stuff, so turned it on on the uh, low side there, and 
the key are down that's the plate current meter and let's put it on power output oh uh, yo that's the output meter on the low side with the uh, dial down all the way down hello and we're keying about 75 watts on a 2000 watt scale oh audio talking about 175 in that area whistling up to about 300 that's on average and let's put it on peak here audio a lot of people don't like peak watts so we do both hello hello that's about 400 peak watts on average now we gonna click it over here to the high side and take it off peak for now and dead can about two audio audio talking about 350 whistling the about 550 remember that's average with it dialed down too and over here on peak audio audio 700 watts peak and that's clean watts with that Piel uh, output circuit no harmonics or anything um, gonna turn up the dead key a little bit we dialed up the dead key on the band switch power output meter going backwards now but we got the dead key dialed up audio audio talking standing still about 550 average hello audio and still about 700 watts peak I think this thing will do that about all day long with that 4CX400 tube in there it doesn't get hot and none of that other stuff that uh, a 250B uh, does they overheated this kind of power audio dead 10 600 swinging about 700 that would be pushing a 250B but I think with that 400 in there we'd do it all day long and of course we could dial it down if we want to that's going to be it for this very rare Pride KW1 Frankenstein bye